At this point, you know that there is many useful AI tools out there, but the problem is that they're buried within a sea of tens of thousands of tools that are probably not that useful to you. And that's why today we'll be looking at how to find any tool you might need for the use of AI tool databases. And stick with me because each and every one of these has a particular feature that I like and that stands out from the others. That's why I picked it. So let's start with the first one. And this one is called, there's an AI for that. With over 7,000 tools. And in the maker Andre behind this project, we have a very useful site right here. So let me show you how this works and what is special about this one. Basically what all of these sites have in common is that they aggregate all the different types of tools and that you will find some type of categories that you can sort by. So right away I would head to most saved and while these are not the best tools they're the popular ones and that means something and I mean this site is so popular that I wouldn't trust this 100% but generally speaking yes god mode is a very interesting one that people tend to check out and then usually discard again but the point is that checking in here from time to time might just be useful and if I click these I'll open it up and in this beautiful overview you have everything you need. There's some tags. You can always click this category and look at all the auto GPT like tools. Another interesting feature here is the timeline, which shows you the new and interesting releases by day. So you can go in here once a week and no, not all of these are actually going to be useful, but it's just kind of interesting to gain a very quick overview. For example, let's see today, August 15th. Let's open this up. These are free apps that just got added. This one manages missed calls for businesses. This one creates proposals. And this seems like a character AI clone that is based on Twitter. There you go, that was quite efficient. But beyond this nice to have and organized overview, I really like this job impact index over here. And I think this is great for the following reason. Not just that it shows you the various jobs that will be affected here, but you can click on them. And underneath you have a list of tasks that are assigned with this job. Guys, these are use cases, right? Meeting summaries, sales messages, conversation starters. And the beautiful thing about this is these tasks, they're more universal than just this job right here that is affected. So you can open them up and you can see every single AI that is available on this website for this task. I think this is one of the best ways you could organize these. And yeah, there you go. If you need a meeting summarizer, here's 30 options. Okay, next up, we'll be looking at tools for humans. And this one is a little overwhelming. With over 26,000 tools, I think they actually included too many. You need some level of curation. You can't just take in everything. But the reason I recommend this one isn't for the tool database. While it's great and while you can look for the categories and search for specific tools. And yeah, they're the one with the most tools out of all the sites I'm presenting here. But as I said, that's not necessarily a good thing. The reason I went here is this little tab, AI use cases. And it's similar to there's an AI for that, but it's just differently organized. For example, if I go to management roles, I can find different tasks that management could use within their workflow. And I think these are just great recommendations for somebody to go through. And this alone, in my opinion, is worth visiting this website. And once you find something, for example, management can transcribe virtual meetings, just like we looked at with the last one, you can just click it. And then interestingly, here you'll actually have a list of the best rated tools for this use case. So while they have the biggest database, they're not going to show you all of them. So this is just something worth to consider. Plus they have these business toolkits where they sort it by various business use case, which I think is nice too, because as you know, if this channel and we're always trying to look at the use cases. So here you can sort by different categories of business and here you can look at different use cases for different aspects of your business. All right, so before we look at the next database, which by the way is my favorite, I wanna quickly tell you about something that we built with the team because it will literally change the way you interact with ChatGPT. Hear me out. So over the course of the year, we experimented a ton with prompt engineering. And what we found is the more context you give, the better results you get. Obviously, you know that already. But that's a lot of work every single time. And that's where it's good to have presets. And the best kind of presets are character presets, also known as personas. So what we ended up doing is crafting hundreds of these characters. But then the problem is that you have hundreds of characters. How is anybody supposed to go through all that and make use of it? Well, our solution is we put them in a Notion template and a website. The website you can really easily search. You can pull it up on your phone anytime and the Notion template is infinitely customizable. And the result is that all of ChatGPT's answers are hyper specialized as opposed to the super generic default answers. We literally created a blueprint on how to create characters out of thin air because we needed it ourselves. And now we're offering it inside of the AI Advantage shop, which by the way is a new thing that is now live. So if you haven't seen this yet and use ChatGPT more than once a week, then definitely check it out. It even works with GPT 3.5. I'll leave a link in the description below. And now let's get back to the next tool database. Okay. Next up, 
let's talk about future tools. And this one you might have heard about because it belongs to a friend of the channel, Matt Fool. And I gotta say, this is a great aggregator overall, but the outstanding feature here is Matt's picks. And the reason for that is because he's one of the most honest and ethical people you'll find out there. And when he puts his weight against the tool, you know that it's probably not sponsored and he genuinely feels like that's a useful tool. And you can get that info by simply checking Matt's picks and filtering down from 2000 tools to a mere 151. And then beyond that, you can say, okay, maybe I want a translation tool. And all of a sudden you're down to free. And I just find this to be a very reliable starting point for your search. So if you just go here, you check Matt's picks, and then let's say we're looking for text-to-speech tool. I gotta say this usually works out because he picked it so well. Descript, 11 Labs, Uber Duck. I mean, yeah, those are the ones I actually use and they're in this list. Okay, if you open this up, you have the pricing model, you have the tags, you can upvote these. But the problem with popular sites like this and the upvotes is that a lot of it might be fabricated by the tool creators. So I always try to rely on alternative features that are built in by the site creator, like Matt's picks right here. Okay, next up, let's look at future PDN. Right now they have over 3,500 tools on here, which is a good amount, not too much, not too little. And there's a few interesting things here. So first of all, I love this trending box because here you can just catch on to new things that people might just be picking up on right now. Let's see, what is this one? YouTube to chatbot. Interesting. I also like this recommendation feature where it shows other tools similar to this and it gives you the pricing right away. See, right here, $19, $19, $10. That's really good. And also the fact that you have an experiments category, I personally find super interesting. This one is definitely worth exploring as I sometimes find something I've never seen before in here. You can also just click this cover and it gives you a random one. Why not? And then this would be my outstanding feature here. They have this verified badge, okay? And by default, it's sorted by the verified ones already. So I think this is really great because again, you can't fully rely on the community votes and how many bookmarks it has. So yeah, I think the default setting here is great. And just like with the other ones, you can check out the tools that have been added today to stay up on date all the time. Okay, here's another one and this one too has been created by a creator of Twitter. Rashid right here created AITools.FYI. And I want to end on this one because yes, we looked at the database and it's great and you can use it, you can categorize and everything, but there's one particular feature that I want to point out to you. And I think it's interesting to people beyond just the developers here. Because as I mentioned, there's a lot of good stuff here, but if you go down here and you click technologies, you can filter by the technologies that this has been built upon. So for example, as you might be aware, Stable Diffusion is the open source model when it comes to image generation. Well, if I know that, I could just click on Stable Diffusion right here and it shows me all the apps that have been built on top of Stable Diffusion. I don't need to be a developer to benefit of this. All of these are gonna be recreatable myself if I wanted to do that because this is an open source model, right? I just think this is such a unique way of filtering that I really wanted to point this out and you can do this with anything here, right? Some of these are very specific. I just like having this option. And look, I just showed you how to find new AI tools through various lenses, right? You can look at it through the technology or the most saved ones. You can take the recommendation of an honest YouTuber or you look by the use cases. I think all of these approaches are worthwhile and I hope this video unlocked as much for you as it did for me for the past few months. And if this is all too much for you and you just want a quick summary, you should check out our weekly newsletter where once a week we pick one app, one news story, and one prompt that you should be aware of. And if you want to learn more about useful AI tools right now, check out this video. I'll see you there.